Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to configure flapperons using the Tyrannus QX7 OpenTX and on my uh, lovely Bixler 2. So I'll have them on this three position switch here and two stage flapperons. You can also have it on one of the knobs if you want to but that's a bit awkward to deal with. Uh, so let's do it on the switch. And I must say thanks to Martin Barley for prompting me to do this video. Now there are two ways to do this, uh, and I'll show you both ways. This is the way I prefer, where you actually assign uh, specific values to specific positions of a switch, rather than just assigning the switch as the input. Anyway, we'll go through this. Now the first thing to know is you have to have the ailerons on separate channels. It won't work if you have them on a, a Y lead going to one channel. So we'll start with the right aileron which I have on channel 1 and we need a, another line to play with so I'll just copy that existing line down and then edit this. Uh, now you can, as I said, just assign a switch. Say the SB switch that I've got here. Uh, the trouble is if you don't do anything more, uh, the ailerons will work like spoilerons in the up position and flapperons in the down position. So I'll go to my preferred method first, which is... So we assign max as the input, and for the first switch position, let's say we'll have 25% of uh, flapperons. Now I can see on my plane, I'm live at the moment, that's actually going up, so I want to go down 25, so we change that to minus, and we change the input to the switch position that we're wanting to use. So SB in the middle position, we have 25% down flaps, simple as that. Probably don't need this expo line here, put that as zero. All right, we'll get out of there. Now we're going to do a 50% down with the SB switch in the down position, so we'll just edit that, copy and edit that line. Change that to minus 50 in the switch position, SB in the down position. So now we have two stage flapperons on the right aileron using the SB switch. And of course you can change these values to whatever you want. So now we just transfer that to the left aileron, just copy them down. See what that does and of course that does it in the wrong direction so we'll just change that to positive. So now check it again and there we have two stage flapperons using the SB switch. All right, now we'll try it using the switch as the source, which is a little bit more fiddly, I think. I don't like it as much. Delete them. And we'll go through the same routine again. Just pr produce another line for editing purposes. Choose the SB switch. We'll reduce that down to uh, 25 I think to get the same effect as what we had before wait 25 so that's going to go up 25 and down 25 now actually it's the opposite, opposite way around so try negative 25 so that's in the up position we've got 25 up 0 in the middle position 25 down we want that to be all down so we need to add some offset here And I can see we need minus 25 offset to bring the up position back to zero. Now we have that working properly. Get rid of the expo. Copy that down to the other line. Same again, we've got it going up instead of down, so we'll make these positive, I think. There we go, so that's done now. When you deploy flapperons, you may find that the
plane wants to pitch up. So you can mix in some down elevator as well on that same switch. So let's go and grab that line and put it into the elevator. So that's working, but we're not going to want 25. That's probably going to be something like 5 maybe. You just have to fly it and try it basically. You can adjust these numbers so that the plane flies level with the flapper ons deployed. So there we go, that's it.